Just Maybe the song hey, uh, you know, became a hit um, okay. before the before the movie came out. So they're like, let's put the song in here. Maybe because yeah, that's true. Um, it, but it could, he could have been listening to something different, yeah. and then they dub it. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Um, anything is possible with that. But I don't. It's like a, from another standpoint, I, I don't like when mm-hmm. people like um, that movie that came out a few years ago, Obsessed with Beyonce, mm-hmm. Knowles, and I, uh, 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 Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. And what's um, her name? Uh, uh, Allie Larder? Yeah, yeah. From Heroes. Uh, Beyonce uses her music throughout that whole film. Yeah, she does. Mm. And <laughs> it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's just silly. Promotion, bro. It's like a, it's like a, a swim fan type day. story, right? Yeah, okay. And there's straight up Beyonce all through it. She, um, so in the movie, she just plays a character. She doesn't play anything that has to do with music or anything. No, that's, no. no. She's, she's just, just a regular. Yeah. She's the wife who's be, who got cheated on or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, see that. Yeah, I I agree with you with that. Like I I, I feel the same way because I feel like, hey, you're already in the fucking movie. With right. you. Why are you yeah. boasting your music too? But um, I was gonna say, like, how, Just fucking how, how do you feel like when um when like when Prince like how in Purple Rain how how they did it? I can see how there were musicians bringing the the music and it was his music. Yeah, but, that's different. That's yeah, a little bit different. And, and like and that was a biopic too, okay. so of his life. So for sure, yeah, I get I get that. That, that uh, what you're saying, though, <laughs> like in certain situations, it's like helpful, you know, mm-hmm. like in something like a Star Is Born. If like Lady Gaga writes her own songs, it oh, makes shit. sense because like she's a lead in that. But like for yeah. for something like um, Wesley, yeah, but, like, but you're not. But okay, not really, it and this is going to be dumb because I'm defending a movie that I really <laughs> like. But Gaga's not going to be playing paparazzi in that movie. You know True. what I mean? Like she's not going to be playing something Poker that she's face. known for. Those were all original songs yeah, yeah. for that film right. that Tyree song wasn't right. yeah. that's what I'm saying right. like, don't take something that's from his the, archive you know, yeah. to put into the, the song it yeah. it's yeah. just like trying I don't like trying too hard <laughs> gotcha. to sell something but overall the movie holds up Snoop Dogg's funny He's great Yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> Taraji's Really good Yeah, yeah. Throughout the whole film great. She really sells it And to see where she is now And mm-hmm. to go back to this It's uh, It's insane Yeah um, Two time Academy Nominee Taraji B. Hanson With <laughs> That's crazy Um Yeah I'll let When do you guys go I'll go Uh I feel like this movie is re- it was really good. I remember seeing it when it first came out, not at the movie theater, just around the same time it came out. Um, I love the story. I love how complex it is, and I love how um, it tells a story within a story. You see, you see Tyrese's character um, essentially being a baby boy, and. <laughs> Uh, growing up with a uh, man, baby, yeah, vir- virtually no uh, father figure. Yeah. His, his father's not there, um, but like you said, they're they're these fatherless figures trying to be father figures to their babies. And uh, he has, you know, baby mamas, and he always uh, he's a womanizer. He's trying to stay faithful yeah. to Taraji's character, but he's not going to fucking do it. He he does, yeah, he he doesn't have any sense of. Uh, what, what he really holds dear in life. Everything is important to him, but at the same time, nothing is important right. to he him. He can, like, let it go at the same yeah, time, That's a perfect yeah. way to put it. Yeah, like... Yeah. That's he, a perfect way to put it. Yeah. it, it until you take it away from him, like a baby, right. it's exactly. important to him. Yeah. You know what I'm he saying? He wants that like pacifier car. bag, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? He, yeah. he loved the car. He kept on saying, it's, well, it's my fucking car. It, no bullshit. It's not your car. Yeah. It's, it's Taraji's car. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is my fucking house. No, it's yeah. fucking his mom's, mom's house. So everything that he... He thought he had was nothing, and that's how basically, you know, a baby is. You, uh, they want everything, they have everything, but once they don't have it, uh, they cry for it. So I felt like that story for him. Uh, growing up and then him trying to be the father figure to his babies that he wasn't a father figure at all to and then him getting schooled by this older homie I I really feel for him on that part because I fucking live through that part I can relate to this movie uh, uh, almost to a T in certain certain parts and it's certainly scary to see (laughs) that being uh, reenacted on the the big screen because I bet you it was a scenario for especially when it's Vin 
thing where <laughs> yeah, for yeah. countless numbers of people across the the states to yeah. see this movie and kind of relate to it. Yeah. But um, it was it's a it still is a fucking huge issue, a dilemma and, and, right now. And I I want to say not only to the African American community, but to the Latino community, even to the white community, to a, a lot of different communities. All communities, we're, we're, dude. We're a, a nation of fatherless children who are uh, who become fathers themselves um, out of just not being raised properly and and we're almost not stuck in this cycle but it's still relevant uh the movie right today. now it's and i feel yeah. like he wrote this as a reflection of what was happening in the 90s and it's mm-hmm. and it still is yeah. Yeah. it's still much, happening yeah that shit was way never will in the 90s. yeah so I, I i believe this story is uh Semi timeless, dude, because you can take it and flip it to any point in time, and it's still gonna be yeah. uh, relevant to how society, unless we change as a society yep. as a whole. But That's a fantastic way of looking at it. You know, it's a great a, point. It's still gonna be flipped. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, I love the film. Just on Baby Boy. Uh, I love it. I've always had a beef <laughs> with the name of the movie, Baby Boy, uh, just because it's it's really slang. Like, what's up, Baby Boy? You know, when you hear when you hear that, I didn't. I don't automatically think of a serious, you know, movie, but um, like I said, I, I like this movie. I, uh, Swan gave it an eight. I, I think I'm gonna go one up and give it a, a, a nine, dude, because I really like it. Yeah. I like relate to it too. Yeah, I can, I can, um, I can overlook the uh, overacting at some points oh, because they're. I feel like it's a. Uh, these 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 uh, actors were trying to uh, be passionate about what they were yeah. doing because they were trying to prove yeah. themselves yeah. as exactly. early yeah. actors. Right. Because yeah. now they're they're seasoned. They're big. Right you now. look at them now, like you said, they they made progress. But yeah. um, and poor Tyrese, man, especially what he's going through now after all the Fast and Furious movies and yeah. stuff. But um, I I feel like they. Uh, the cast for this movie comes together well and, and, and tells a story that is worth telling because it's it's almost like a, uh, a timeless social commentary story. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's always going to be relevant, pretty much. It's kind of like how you said where um, it plays with that idea of this vicious, cir- like, uh, mm-hmm. repetitive uh, cycle, yeah. you know, that you're kind of stuck in and yeah. your family just keeps going through it. Yep. Just like uh, even um, Jody's mom's boyfriend, mm-hmm. uh, he was from that same way. Yep. And in at the, you know, it ended up being that he re- they related on that level yeah. and kind of bonded. Over, yeah, that, because yeah. how he's oh, I was young and stupid. And he used to yeah. do dumb shit just like you. Yeah. You know? but that was their connection because mm-hmm. because he keeps trying to tell him like I know what you're going yeah. through. You know what I mean? Think, like, like fucking. If we just sat down and talk, you'd yeah. see that we're not. You know, yeah. like different. The same. Mean, you know, and, yeah. and I think that's the essence of Tyrese's baby boy characters because. He, uh, Ving Rhames is a father figure is just not his it, he's authority to him he's mm-hmm. somebody that's going to tell him what to do who thinks he knows what's right or wrong for this person and he's he's like you don't know this fool that's Ving Rhames his father and like yeah he not he sees he sees himself as his father to somebody but yeah. he's not even his father he's his stepdad but he yeah. wants to teach him yeah. it's like stepping it's, in the like, light but you really don't feel it you know it's like misguided Direction. Yeah, you know, like he—he's looking out for him, but at the same time, he's still fucking with them, and he's right. still gonna be. A, a, yeah. He's gonna give him tough love no matter what. Right. But well, he's encroaching on Jody's space yeah. because at the end of the day, Jody's a mom. Yeah. Boy. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly. what they push is yeah. that he, he wants lives all, with his mom. Yeah, he like, wants all of her attention. Yeah. And that's how mama's boys are, and they never fucking like the 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 new the new yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. They never. always have a yeah, problem. They, they find. Some reason why yeah. he's a bad dude, and that's yeah. why he's tri- he tries to do this most of the movie until he finally gives in and he realizes this guy we have we're the same yeah. we're on the same level you know? right yep and uh, they're you know, they're a reflection they're a immediate reflection of and, and you can see it when uh, Taraj's character comes and talks about how uh, 
she's like you're you're just in love you're blinded by what Jody's doing to you mm -hmm. and she's blinded by what Ving Rhames is doing to her it's kind of like oh when they found the marijuana plant when they found the pot plant he's like oh, he just sorry. gives in and yeah, he's she like she forgives him immediately right away like oh away. okay but like, what the fuck? and he gets mad dude he it comes in fury when I was yeah like, when it yeah. was me yeah, yeah, right, right, say, right, I right. confess it's World War 3 new day I just feel there's a lot of uh, reflections yeah. and similarities and levels that reflect each other within these characters and it's it's just going back and forth you know what I'm saying so yeah. I, I feel that's a good that's a good story man it's a, it's a really good story oh, wrong, yeah. totally 90s the way it's filmed is really late 90s early 2000s when it came out 2001 right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 2001 that was a long time ago in my eyes <laughs> You want to go next, man? What do you think about the movie? Yeah, man, the film is totally great, dude. Like, from beginning to end, like, dude, it's just a thrill. Um, going through Baby Boy's steps, dude, like, man, he just has the toughest time and probably the greatest time, like, being a baby boy and all, like, you know, you're... You keep yourself spoiled. You, you like if you see into the movie, he goes, he's flipping through his yeah. baby models. Dude, like man, that was nuts. Yeah, he. Got like, I can't believe this guy. <laughs> but hey, like he does go through some shit and he realizes it. And like man, he he ins he like recovers pretty well from it, dude. And like. The movie does like like O'Neill says touch base with a lot of things that is real, dude. Yeah. Like so, um, the movie is like I said. It's, what does Swan give, give the movie? An eight. It, an eight. I gave it like a nine. It's probably like an eight point five in in my yeah. opinion, dude, because of how real it is. It it it, it touches a lot of deep points and yeah. a lot of people that have gone through this and. Um, it's a fucking great film, dude. Yeah. yeah. So you really see a transformation. Yeah, you know what I mean. Of Jody going from and, and how he is in the beginning towards the end. You know? And he does become a prick because of the title. <laughs> he is ba a baby's boy. A baby boy. A baby boy. <laughs> but um, it's fucking good. Dude. How about you, um, um, CJ? I I dug it. I didn't love it as much as you guys did. Um, I, <laughs> I thought it was a mixed bag, um, but uh, the messages I thought were great. Um, I thought it was very yeah. um, great in its in its execution of its themes and its messages, and it's clearly a conversation uh, starter, um, like oh, yeah. uh, um, as we're doing right now. Um, like uh, John Singleton, to me, runs like hot and cold. So I kind of like every other movie that he does. Mm -hmm. um, this is on the the lower tier. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that some of the acting was very over the top, and a lot of the dialogue was heavy-handed sometimes and, and the music cues uh, um, the songs that, that he played throughout the movie were very heavy-handed yeah um, it felt like um, like Robert Zemeckis level of like beating you over the head on like what the scene's about it, uh, a lot of the parts were dramatic like uh, Boys in the Hood like yeah. when Ricky got shot yeah I felt that eeriness uh, from Boys in the Hood when Ricky got shot that whole feel Sometimes trans in, uh, goes into Baby Boy a lot too, and I can see it because they're both John Singleton yeah. films. But I, I get what you're saying with the, yeah. the dramatic. Yeah, uh, the I dramatic can feel like Snoop Dogg's acting was a little off for me. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I felt sometimes Snoop Dogg was good. Sometimes he was not. Yeah. Sometimes the mom was hard, good. Maybe. Sometimes the mom was pretty bad. Um, uh, Taraji B Henson and Ving Rhames, I think, are the two best actors in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it shows that Taraji B Henson was a star. Way back uh, yeah. when, like, and she's always been great. Ving Rhames has always been great. I like Ving. I, it, um, I actually like Ving Rhames' character the best in this. As someone who's like, who's sort of like the older version of 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 uh, Tyrese's Tyrese, character. Yeah, like, yeah. You could easily see he was the same person as Tyrese, and so now that he's grown, he's like, I'm trying to teach you some things. You know, yeah. like, I'm um, like even. In the beginning, he says, "You know, I'm not trying to be your dad, yeah. uh, but like, if you need advice, yeah, hint, I'm hint, here, man. I know where this is going. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, this isn't my first rodeo. I know where this yeah. is going. So, <laughs> we can either settle this right now, or you can go through the movie, and yeah. you know what I mean. So, but yeah, um, I thought his character was good. I thought the mom's character um, was good, but the actress, I thought she was. Um, I don't know if this was her first movie or not, but mm -hmm. um, if it was, you could kind of kind of tell because uh, sometimes she wasn't hitting the." Uh, 
dramatic them. beats, yeah. and she yeah. wasn't reading the lines right, which I think uh, some of the dialogue is a bit stilted, um, but that comes with some of John Singleton's films. Um, uh, but um, I really liked the, um, I liked all the scenes in the t- t- Taraji B. Henson's apartment, because yeah. I think she brought out the best of Tyrese Gibson. Yeah.